People in Ahwatukee can kind of relate. They're dealing with bobcat visitors, another kind of animal you shouldn't cross. ABC 15's Noah Lani Graf is live. And, and no, hey, people need to be careful. Sounds like these cats are getting kind of aggressive. Yes, Steve, they're hunting their prey, threatening the neighborhood pets. This neighborhood is up against South Mountain. There are a couple of washes, so the occasional wild animal is nothing new, but they've never gotten this comfortable. Just look at that sweet face. They roll around, they look like little cats. At first glance, it looks like a stray kitty. I mean, they're really cute. Then mom comes. She, you know, now they're threatening. You got to look at her size. Mom is about this big and this high. Suddenly, these bobcats are not the cat's meow. Mom, dad, and three babies living like any other family in the equestrian war paint neighborhood. They're rolling around in the grass right here like she's just watching them play. It's not just Dory Corette's place. They roam the streets. Looking out the window and a bobcat walked right by me. In 25 years, Darnell Doty hasn't seen anything like it. I wonder if we call them like animal controllers. What's in the one we did? The adults teaching the little ones to climb and hunt every day for weeks. She worries they won't stop at rabbits. It's kind of scary and we don't want to go outside. Dory says one of the big cats already stared down her dog. And just put his head down like he was going to attack him. Folks around here realize they live close to the mountain, but say most wildlife just passes through. I mean, they were here first, but the fact that they're now feeling so domesticated and showing up in people's yards is surprising. And concerning, these bobcats seem determined to reclaim the neighborhood. The Arizona Fish and Game Department has basically told all the neighbors they have to scare the cats away. So spray them with hoses, a water ammonia mix, or pay for a professional trapper. And Katie and Steve, no one here wants to see these bobcats hurt. They just want them to go away, so they're open to suggestions. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like it. A lot of those cats are probably seeking water. You know, they come out of the wilderness looking for a swimming pool, anything to drink out of, anything at all. Yeah.